Good morning. It's about 5.30 and I'm here at the Woodstock Fruit Festival on Thursday. Usually what I do is take a shower, but it's really, really chilly out, so I'm saving that for after work. Just don't want to have to have wet hair. <laughs> but I'm going to be juicing sugarcane today for the attendees and everybody. It's a really fun job. Love the people that I do it with. So I'll show you what that's all about. I bounce back and forth between doing orange juice and sugarcane. So one day I'll do orange juice and then the next day I'll do sugarcane. Today I'm going to be doing sugarcane and I wanted to film it because I think it's a little bit more interesting for you guys to see. So as a volunteer I sleep in a tent up the hill by um, the tennis courts. I really like it. I love camping and hiking. I love um, camping anyways, so for me it's just like a, another little special experience to make good memories here. But all the attendees and presenters, managers and admins, they have cabins here. And that's where the showers are. That's where I usually would be going, but it's just so cold right now. <laughs> oh, so, Kat, right here we have some aloe vera brush leaf. Ooh. That's uh, one of the best things for, uh, you can use very uh, holistic, this is the naturopathy right here. Medicinal properties of the aloe plant. Beautiful. It's good for burns, scratches, um, bites, especially from those stealth mosquitoes we have here. It's also acts as a nice moisturizer for your face. Putting that on my nose. It's also good for your hair. Thank you. I want to know about the hair thing. Yeah. I have a sunburn on my nose and my face is dry and gross. Thank you, Tucker. Yeah. For the aloe. Jamaican style. We are here on this very earth to love and to be loved. Taking a shot, Tucker? Roll passion. Come on, Tucker. Taking a shot with us. All right. So I have here an awesome Thai coconut. I just finished my shift doing the sugar cane. Um, which means that now I am free to roam and do whatever I please. My shift lasted from like 6 to 12, just cleaned up. I think I'm gonna go to a friend's presentation around 1.30, maybe go for a swim? I don't know, we'll see what happens. There's many options here that I could do. There's yoga usually in the morning. There is actually a yoga session later on today. So I don't, I've never done yoga here at the fruit festival, so I think I want to hop on that because, like I said, usually it's in the morning and I work, I work in the mornings. Um, and of course, there's always like dancing at night, a static dance, a bonfire, sometimes like Brazilian or Latin dancing, and drum stuff, a lot, of, a lot of cool things going on here. Awesome. Awesome. It's great. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Got 
guys, get this. This is a huge mango. Mm. Big as Grant's head. It's big as my noggin. I got a big Bigger than too. Anne's. <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger than Anne's. Then what do you got? A bunch of mangoes, longins. Mm. Ooh, I want to get on this. I'm going mm. straight for the food. Mm -hmm. See you, sweetie. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. I just came back from the presentation about spirituality and a raw food diet, mostly focused on like a whole food, um, vegan based diet. And I felt a lot of things resonate in me that were kind of like beliefs that I had previously that I kind of forgot about that really mean a lot to me. <laughs> I realize they now still mean a really lot to me a lot to me and yeah I felt like the dust got kind of blown off of that and uh, yeah I just feel a lot more resonated with my authentic self there's some things that I want to investigate more like meditating I haven't been doing that for a while so that class has inspired me and motivated me it got me thinking more about my spiritual connection to nature, myself, and how beautiful fruit and all plants connects us to nature um, and our, our um, deeper depths. Honestly, I almost cried. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that class. I'm glad I checked it out. And now it's almost time for dinner. Sorry that I didn't actually film too much of like activities today. I mostly went to some presentations. Um, I think I may go for a swim, get some sun, that's really important. And then I'm gonna eat some food. I may possibly do some night activities, like there's definitely gonna be a bonfire and some dancing, which I haven't done any of the night activities since I've gotten here because I've been having to get up at 5 a.m. But you know, I think I, I feel really healthy and consistent with my energy to want to actually do that tonight. So maybe I'll film something for you guys. Look at these beautiful broccoli sprouts. And I got fennec grown Greek. by Mike. Hey. I'm I, so. got, I got fennec Greek too. Oh, and fennec Greek. Yeah. Yum, 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 yum. So he's going to be doing a presentation on sprouting and fruit trees. Yeah. Check him out. He has very informative presentations, which I appreciate. was this really big 
beautiful salad that had cucumber and greens and an amazing curry dressing that was slightly spicy, which was delicious. Um, and then I grabbed an avocado and I found that like perfectly satiating. So yeah, that was my lunch. I had coconut with coconut water. I said that was my dinner, was a big salad. And then lunch was uh, the Thai coconut with the water and the coconut flesh, which usually I have more, but I just wasn't too hungry today. I think it's because I was drinking a lot of sugarcane juice. And then breakfast was just sugarcane and watermelon. I had watermelon as well and a papaya. events so I'm just gonna read and go to bed I've been walking in this woodsy area so that's it that's the end of my blog I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you're thinking about volunteering or coming to the Woodstock Fruit Festival hopefully it was a useful point of view to see it from my angle if you liked it please give it a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't, if you're interested in health and travel. Um, I'm creating an ebook. I have my art now featured on this channel, which is my biggest passion. So, yeah, if you'd like to see all those other perspectives of my life, stay tuned. I want to hear from you guys and your opinion, and maybe some things that you want to see. I'll happily talk about it. All right, ciao. Until next time, love you.